So I have been trying to put together this video game using the 3D assets that I was building before, but one of the things that comes up is that they end up being like millions of polygons and like it still works because modern gaming engines are ridiculous and they can still do that, uh, but it starts kind of draining power really quickly and there's a lot of other issues. So I really wanted to drop the polygon count down a huge amount and the main way of doing that is using um, normal maps uh, and that way you can kind of maintain a lot of the detail while reducing the polygon count. However, one of the things that comes up is that um, I was using object space normal maps previously and those don't respond to mesh movement so if you have a deformable mesh uh, they can't really update those normal maps um, and so the way of resolving this is tangent normal map you start using the normal maps from your main thing and then kind of orchestrating it with the actual vertices and the geometry of the mesh and that way when the mesh moves you can update the normal map and you can have everything looking nice a lot of explainers show the BTN matrix on the vertices so um, along the sides and they oftentimes show them aligned with the kind of edges so it makes it look like there's not a 90 degree angle there and there's some skew and I thought that was kind of like what would be expected for like what it's describing to do but that in fact is not the case because all you need to know is the actual like direction that aside as soon as I found out that it was orthonormal and basically this mini clip here this is a TBN matrix kind of just like it all fell into place okay so i think we got about 80 percent of the way there uh we still have to deal with this kind of uh flipping of tangent and bi tangent matrices so in particular with how i'm doing the smoothing i'm doing it all preemptively and it causes some issues because blender actually flips some of the bi tangent and tangent vectors and i don't entirely understand like where they're flipping them it seems pretty sporadic to me right now so um i need to figure out that uh but for the most part when they're all working in sync then it looks pretty smooth um I think there's still a few other small math mistakes that I need to find out, but like I've come a long way. So you can actually compare these really high end models, which have millions of faces to these really low end models, and they look pretty comparable. So we're getting to a really good place with reducing the complexity. So just to see what normal maps actually do, um, if we look at them with them on, you can see that a lot of the kind of crevices and stuff have these extra details. Um, when you take them off, then all of a sudden everything looks a lot more smooth. I don't want to delve into the code in too much detail. I just want to kind of go over a brief overview. So basically the general idea is to create a normal map, have a depth map, and then have a reduced depth map. So the general idea is that with this reduced depth map, uh, you can get all the faces and you can get the TBN matrices for the reduced depth map. And then you use those matrices to update all of the normal maps. You have to do the whole vector math where you kind of do the transformation, like so that you're transforming that vector into that local space. Um, and <laughs> then you can kind of smooth them out afterwards. So that's this kind of area here where you're trying to do some smoothing. I like This is something that like in particular, this smoothing, it hasn't been working quite as I would have expected expected but it's kind of a detailed thing so I don't know if I can go into any more detail than that really uh <laughs> so one thing I wanted to highlight is this code should be taking like microseconds but it actually takes about 30 seconds uh so that's something that like I just need to fix the quality it's python is not the best idea I should be using a lot more numpy there's a lot of things but I just wanted to go over the general idea of what I'm doing <laughs> So there was two videos that I found really helpful for normal maps, and that is a version of reality has a whole series on normal maps, um, and a lot of them go over kind of nodal maps in Blender. And so especially if you don't kind of like math, uh, but you like to try and understand things, um, that can be a really helpful way of kind of abstracting the math away. Um, and then Freya also has a really amazing three hour video on um, normal maps as well. And it's super helpful. And it goes over a lot of especially the smoothing and how to deal with edges in normal maps because at those kind of edge junctions, you need some way of smoothing that out. So that one was also very good too. Thanks and have a great day.